We're just out here for the uh, biggest sneaker convention. The most anticipated sneaker convention that comes to Florida. Sneaker Con for Lauderdale. The sneaker culture is for everybody. Everyone wears sneakers. In 2009, SneakerCon started its shoe selling game in New York City as a home for collectors and fans alike to buy and sell their favorite sneakers. Now, a decade later, they've gone global, holding events in Sydney, Australia, and London, England. While the popularity is growing, it definitely didn't start out that way. We started off in the hallway of a comedy club in Times Square, New York, with 20 vendors. Today here, we have 220 vendors, like 10 brands, 30 influencers. I mean, back then it, it was hard to get vendors. People come out here to actually, you know, buy shoes. Out here trying to make some money. Whether you're a vendor selling a table full of shoes or an attendee just trying to flip one pair of kicks, it's all about getting the best deal. They come in and try to look for steals, you know, and by them steals, I mean like they try to buy a good amount of, of, of a, a, a large amount of shoes for a low, low price. I sold 16 pairs and we haven't even been open for an hour yet. Whether you're interested in one pair of shoes or a whole table's worth, to buy anything here at SneakerCon, you better bring your cash. Yes, yeah, sir, cash only out here. No credit cards, gotta have cash. Vendor Jack Milo's day ended a couple hours after the show started as he sold his entire stock to one buyer. Dude walked up and we just wanted to buy a couple pairs and um, I, I told him, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm interested in you know selling the whole lot. And uh, we just worked out a, a deal for, you know, wiggle room for where he can make some money and I can make a little money and everybody, you know, everybody's happy and we just worked out a deal and it's all gone, man. It's all gone. 130 pairs. 130 pairs, man. Yeah. And what was the final price? Uh, 13,000. 13,000. It's a good day. But there's always a price. If somebody comes and offers you a crazy number, you're going to be like, hey, I could buy every other shoe that I've ever wanted. And then that's going to be the price of that shoe. But don't worry if you sell out your stock. In the sneaker culture, you just start all over again. Well, I still got some stuff laying around in the closet for sure. It's all about getting selling so you can get more inventory. We're here for the culture, to nurture it, to protect the kids, to teach them, to, to educate. So if we have anything to say about it, this is not going anywhere. In Fort Lauderdale, David Agadello, CBS4 Sports.